How are you? I'm fine. Yourself? I'm doing good. <laughs> I've not seen you in a long yeah, while. Yeah, I can see that you are really doing good. <laughs> you are looking fly. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> you see, there's one thing that, uh, it's that there are many things people don't know about you. Yeah. But one of the things two people don't know about you is the fact that it is very difficult to get you, or very rare to get you to speak. Yeah. Today I'm here. I'm in front of you. <laughs> so what are the other things that people don't know about you? Oh, the other things. I think people know everything about me, but uh, most of the things I think, I mean, my choco days, people doesn't know. I mean, people saw me playing for a class of folk, from a class of folk to under 17, under 17, under 20, and moved to Europe. And my career, that's where people know, but there are certain deep details that people doesn't know. What are they? And some of them, I think that I have to keep it for myself because definitely one day I will write my book and uh, I, will, I will put them in. So it should, it, should, it should be a surprise. But I mean, I have certain deep, deep, deep details. Even though when, when I mentioned I'm, I was born in Choco, grew up in Choco, and when you know that environment, environs, you have to know that, I mean, I've come, I've come from a long way. It wasn't easy, but yeah, I am at East Legon. How would you describe that, that foundation? Uh, how do I describe? I think um, I have to, I have to, I have to, I have to say that I've done well. I've done well. This is a place that I grew up, and people that you roll with were doing all sorts of things, but. Um, I never allowed myself into, into those things and I said, okay, what I want to do is to play football. So I channel all the energy into football and then uh, it, it works for me. But I think that I've done what I quite remember the chocolate days when as a kid you wake up in the morning 4.30, you have to run to Kanishi. Kanishi market, the inside, the ins, inside Kanishi market, they have these stairs that you have to climb. From there, yeah. you have to run to circle. They have a stairs there. From circle, you have to go to the um, mortuary road to the beach. So, I mean, these are the sacrifices that uh, I did, and uh, it works for me. Growing up, I come to realize that whatever we do is, is, is the passion and, and, and the hard work that takes you to the top and that's what I did. Talk to me about the days of playing at Indafa Park. Yeah. Um, okay, so I attended uh, St. Martin's School and those days it was very, very difficult for, for, for me. I mean, at times as a kid you go to school without no food, you go to school without money. So um, one day I was on my way to school, I walked from uh, Choco to um, White House. And um, I was on my way and I met a friend called, uh, now he's a musician, YZ. Oh, really? Yeah, YZ, they were, they were very, very rich. And I met YZ, YZ was like, Stephen, uh, are you going to school? I said, yes, I'm going to school. He said, no, 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 um, we shouldn't go to school today. I mean, follow me, let's go to Salvation. I've never been to Salvation Park. It was my first time. So he said, let's go to Salvation Hami Park. When we get there, I'll buy you rice and beans. As soon as I, sorry, uh, uh, beans and plantain. Yeah. As soon as I heard Is it your Fogari? Yeah, <laughs> Gobe. Gobe. As soon as, as, soon as I heard, uh, sorry, uh, beans? beans and plantain, I said, hey, I have to follow Daniel because myself, I don't have anything on me. So yeah. I followed him. We went to Salvation Army Park. We saw some kids playing football and Daniel, know that after schools we at times we we played in the premises so he said Stephen I know that you are a good player so join the guys I took off my school uniform I put it in a plastic bag we hid it under uh, a bin so we know that at that time if you uh, if you go home without your school uniform you get lost so uh, we hid it and then I joined the guys uh, the kids to play the um, the game when we were playing there was this man standing like 25 meters from where we were playing so when we finished he said oh you're a good player uh, we have a coast team at Indafa can you join us and I said oh, okay I would love to join you but you have to come and talk to my mom first so uh, he came and then my mom was like no 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 he has to go to school and that time I wanted to play football so um, one day I find my way to Indafa because where I live 
and in that for my probably in that for park is is a bit far yeah. and i was a kid then so i find my way and then i showed myself at the training grounds i had a chance to play for under 12 and then under 14 when i was playing under 14 i was doing so well that when I play under 14 games, they were I were under 17 Jesse. Oh, so okay. I had a chance to play under 14 and then under 17 at times I would come and play five minutes. I would come and play 10 minutes. That's where it all started. Capito, uh, how many siblings do you have? I have I have yeah we are four. I have another brother and two sisters. And who is the first born? Uh, I'm the first born. So you are like the father? Of course I am. Father figure. I quite remember Choco days. I mean you are staying in a small small room and where at times I have to I have to make space for my, my, my siblings. So you have to go and sleep under the bed and then under the bed you know that you find certain things there which are not uh, uh, cool. I mean the cocoa cheese, the rats and all that. So uh, that, it, these things, it comes, it comes with it. I mean, being the first one, you have to do a lot of sacrifice. And today I'm happy that my, my, my siblings, they see me and then they are very, very happy that he started and then, I mean, now we are all seeing him happy. I saw a video that you posted on social media when you went back to, to Choco. This was up like so many years ago and I could Imagine the emotions yeah. of going back to the roots. Yeah. So, um, yeah, yeah, I saw the video came back, I think, three days ago as oh, when okay. I went to visit. Um, I mean, there was a table tennis game. So, um, um, Professor Kofi Abuchi invited me. Oh, okay. So, okay. we went to Choco and then um, I have to go there to mentor uh, the kids. Okay. And where I didn't know where they were doing the program. But when I got there, I realized that it was the same big place that I learned how to play football. Oh, really? Yeah. So I was very, 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 very emotional. emotional. Yeah, very, very emotional because, I mean, taking my mind back when I was a kid, when I was trying to learn how to play football, this is the pitch. And then I didn't know that that's where they were doing the program. And I end up, I mean, being there to mentor the, uh, the kids, and I was so, so happy. I told them how I started. I told them that people, a lot of people came because they heard that I, I, I'm yeah. around. Yeah, so um, people that I grew up with, all of them, they were there, and they were happy to, to see me. Even though I, I go there at times, but I have to, I have to, I have to sneak in because at times the, 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 the pressure and the crowd is, is too much, and you know that you can't. You can you can you can run away from your yeah people. no you can see every everybody so yeah. the people that you see them are happy those maybe you don't do it deliberately but you you forget to yeah. see them they will take it in a different yeah. so at times I have to sneak in to see one or two friends uh, and then leave but they were so happy so I told them about my story I told them that standing here today not even a single person can come and say that when I was I was here as a child I've I've, I've insulted nobody. And then, I mean, these are the stories. So they, they saw the light, I mean, from, from, from Choco days because my friends that I was moving with, they were, they were hardcore. If you just joined us, um, we are speaking to former Black Stars captain, Stephen Appiah, sharing with us his life journey, how he started and where he's got into, talking to us about where he actually learned how to play football. And uh, these days, one of the things that he, he, he he engages in is to inspire the next case, the next generation of talents like himself. And not even just the talents who want to play football, but want to go into certain areas because his life story is a book on its own. Like, and he even indicated, maybe I'll just let him confirm, he'll write a book, right? Yes, you're yes. yes. You're yes. A book. Have yeah, you started yeah. yet? Hey, you don't worry. Well, have you, you started get, yet? You, you get to know. <laughs> I, mean, you, I mean, you know that you are one of the people who know for sure. So, Okay. So, and tell me pretty quick. How do you feel when you go back to where you came from yeah. and you have people come around you and mob you, just want to touch you and say, oh, this is Steven. They just want to touch you. How yeah. do you feel at times? Um, they are my people, so that's where I started from and they are the people who made me. I said that because when I was starting, at times you'll be on the road, you don't have food to eat. There's someone who will provide that. They encourage me. Train, train. One day you will be a good player. 
and it came to pass. So they made me. So any time I go to my my hood, I mean, I, there's nowhere to 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 express that 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 feeling. At times I I get very very emotional because people that I grew up with, seeing them in certain states, I ask myself. So if it's not because of football and the grace upon me, I will be like them. 90, 90, 90, 100%. 100%. So going back, I, I always feel, feel so, so good. Let me tell you a story. When, when my dad passed, so we, 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 we took the body from, from, from the mortuary. And you know, we, the guys, we have to visit his place. Yes. So we got to our, our, um, our house in uh, Choco. And that time I've, I've, I've run my mouth to my wife that I don't understand why people cry so much when people passed. So um, I said, oh, okay, me, I don't think that, yes, I will feel bad, I will, I, I, I will shed tears, but I won't cry like the way people, I, we see people cry. Yeah. So when we took the body to Choco and a lot of people came, when they came, I was standing in front of our house. So I was standing there and I started crying, like I couldn't hold myself. I was crying, 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 crying. So when we finished, Lai Kingston was there, yeah. Like I was with Lai Kingston and the wife. So when we, we left the place to the church, and then my wife was like, you see, I told you, you think that you are, you are yeah, very, man. very hard. Yeah, but you are not. So I was like, why, what, what are you trying to say? He said, you see the way you cry, you couldn't hold yourself. People were, I said, you see, it's not, no disrespect, but it's not, it's not the body. But looking at where I was born, the people that I grew up with, some of them, most of them are junkies. Most of them are robbers. And me being there, that's why, that's why I was crying because I was, I was asking myself that, if it's not because of football and the, the effort that I put in to get to where I am, I will still be at that place. No disrespect to them because at the end of the day, we came to this world, we, we are different people. With we different destinies. Yeah, exactly. But I will be there. So that's where I started to, I, I, lose, I, I lost it. I lost it. And so your question, anytime I go to my hood, you have no idea. You have a pack there. I saw a pack there named after Stephen up here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My probi St. Peter. Yeah. No, sorry, my probi uh, girl school. Yeah. And I think that um, my brother, who used to be a goalkeeper, oh, okay. Ahmed Shaibu. Yeah, he's the, the, the boss of Koda. Oh, okay. So um, he did that. Uh, AstroTurf. That, that AstroTurf, and then he named it after, after me. I think that he did well because. We all used to play together. I had a chance to play for the Black Stars. I had the chance to travel to Europe to play. I captained the Black Stars for nine years. I think I have done well. So, I mean, giving something back or it, no, it honors, it honors me. Yeah. And, and it was, it was, it was beautiful that day. Capito. <clears throat> Again, I mentioned Capito. <laughs> <laughs> when, when, when you were telling me the story of your life, then I roll back to the days and wonder what life was, was all about. Because it's quite interesting. Like Kinsu was on this very show, and he was telling me that your early days were not easy. And in fact, he spoke about you one time being, uh, was he uh, a mate or, or what? Yeah, okay, so uh, that's what I said. <laughs> most, of the, most of my friends, um, they, they were mates, I mean, like conductors in, 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 in Trotro and stuff. Oh, so okay. They were the people collecting the money. And even though moving with hardcore guys, I was, I was a bit shy. I was still shy. And then I quite remember when we used to sleep at, uh, uh, in Trotro. So they would wake up like 4 o'clock to go and get ready to go for, uh, for, for, for job, their work. And then I would go and change and then I would hit the road. I would go uh, for jogging, uh, I would go and train and then come home. So when I come home, I have to wait, no, when I come home, I will rest. Then four o'clock, no, three o'clock, I will go for, I will go to Indafa for um, uh, Fata Babies yeah. uh, training. 
And when I finished training, because you know those days, you finish training and you are jogging home, you don't, you don't know what to eat. It's not because you have a choice, but because you don't have money for food. So I have to wait for my friends and they will come around 10 o'clock. So when they come, five of them, I don't want to mention their name. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah five of them. Way. So when they come, they will be trying to, oh you, uh, when we come, you wanted us to buy you food because you don't want to work, because you don't want to do this. So somebody will buy uh, um, a cake and fish. Somebody will buy rice and stew. Somebody will, they will buy different, different, and I'll be sitting there. And then somebody will try and give me a spoon of rice. Somebody will put one fish. Say, no, what, this is what I can do for you. And then they will give it to me. I, can't, I couldn't reject it. I have to eat it because I, I, I was starving. I don't have food. But today, I mean, these are the same people that I roll with. Most of the time, Sundays, I will call them. I will gather them. We will go and hit tilapia and, and the rest. Even though they, they thought they were... They didn't, they didn't know, I didn't know it myself. I didn't know where I was heading to yeah. when I was young. So nothing guarantees me that I will be yeah. a good footballer. But I have it in me that I wanted to play football. And it, they thought they were, they, were, they were being hard on me. But they gave me something. The more they, they were doing that, the more they were giving me the energy to wake up in the morning to prove them wrong that one day I will be a good footballer. And it happens. So, the, so you, were, you were a mate for some time? Did you do it? I did it one, but it wasn't. I was. Uh, it was. <laughs> no, I was. I was. Uh, uh, it was it sex, 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 or talk, or talk, or oh, no, talk. No, those days, no, those days, it was. It was. It, these days, they have modified it, so oh, okay. they have to, you know, sex, sex. No, but those days, was it wasn't like that. How was it? Uh, it my in my situation that day. When we leave the shyness of, uh, from Stephen up here, I think that it, it wasn't bad because people are still still doing it. Yeah. So I, I could have I could have done that job, but you know I have it in my mind that I wanted to play football. Did you break stones at some point in your life? <laughs> who told you this story? <laughs> uh, who told you this story? Why are they coming to speak I, to is you? It, is it lying? <laughs> Why are they coming to speak to you? So I want to do lots of research. Yeah. So at a, at a point, uh, I mean, there is this. Uh, those days we used to go to Katamanto to shop. So I have to follow friends, and they they will buy three, and then they will give me one. So you know, you understand. So I, I didn't have money, and they were the people doing certain certain stuff to make money. So uh, myself and my best friend Danso, yeah, we played the same course, and uh, Edmund Copson. So one Christmas, I mean, when we look around, those days there were viscous and linen pants, and but those days i don't i don't i don't have anything so i have to when when i'm going out i have to i have to go for fr uh, go to friends they will give somebody will give me shirt somebody will give me jeans and somebody will give me a uh, uh, shoe and that christmas I, I didn't have anything so i was like what is going to happen to me would i go out or I, would i stay home then edmund copson came with a play he said he knows some place santa maria they they crack stones so we should go there and when you go we can make money so we walk from choco to uh, uh odoko and when we got there i mean there were a lot of stones a lot of stones so i asked uh Danso and Corson that are we going to carry all these stones they said oh yeah, yeah, yeah we have to do they said six to twelve but if you want to do more you went the more you yeah. do the more you I said, uh, okay, let me try 6 to 12. And I went the first time, I put the stones inside, I carried the stone. I thought, oh, this, I said, oh, this is easy, I will, I will do 6 to 6. But the fifth time, when I was pushing the thing, the thing was so heavy, so I started to shake. There, I went to throw the pan away, and then <laughs> I walked from Santa Maria to, to Choco. So you didn't that, get all your money? No, 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 no. That, I, I even left the money because that, it, it wasn't easy. That time is because there was a jeans called Ring 501, this uh, faded jeans. Yeah. And I wanted to buy some with a viscous shirt. So, I mean, these are the things that um, I went through. And football brought you here. Talk to me about... Um how were you supported to actually play football at, at the topmost level? Well, uh, I can't I can 
uh, tell that story living Accra as a folk uh, out. Uh, I think because of Accra as a folk, that's where I got the chance to travel to, uh, to yeah. Italy. Um, my cold days, we played a game, Mighty Victory against uh, Kowling Babies. That time, I mean, I mean, the best club was Kowling Babies and Great Falcons. Kowling Babies because they have so much money and then they have all the best players at that, our time. They yeah. have all the best players. I mean, Osef Boatin was their goalkeeper. Christopher Pelete was number two. You have Dankwe. You have uh, Aziz Ansa. You have uh, Lai Kinsen. You have Godwin Atram. You have Asa CJ. You have... Uh, they had the best team. So that, they, that, that match, there was, there was a debate between myself and Godwin Atram. Because I played 10, he played 10. And I was doing so well, and he was doing so well at Kowling. So there was this b debate. They said, the Choco people said, oh, I'm better than Atram. The Kowling people said, no, Atram is far better than Steven Apia. So two days to the, uh, to the game, we played that game on Wednesday. Two, ga two days to the game, Atram, I think At Atram was sick. So, um, yeah, Atram was sick. So that debate ended because Atram would be on the pitch. We'll and we played that game at uh, at Center, where Accra also football. Yeah, you train, train yeah. yeah. It was Wednesday. And that game I played so well. I scored two goals, the first goal and the last goal. We beat them 3-0. So uh, after the game, uh, I was at home and Iman uh, Rama Ama Senegal, our former uh, yeah. Blaster player, uh, he came to me and he said that, oh, I mean, Nia uh, Ibonte, known, known as uh, Thomas Hokande, yeah. uh, he sent Iman uh, Rama Senegal to come to my house to tell me that um, uh, I, should, I should come to training to train with the Aruras. So, um, yeah, so we played that game. After the game, I mean, the ass fans, they were giving me money. Uh, I got a lot of money at, at that particular game. Finally. Yes. Finally, you have money in your pocket. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I, have, uh, yeah, I had something <laughs> small. And you know that time that you have been, you have been in the hustle of yeah, the street of chocolate yeah. and then playing that game, getting something small. That night, I couldn't sleep because when you, are, you put the money under the pillow, when you are in every every three seconds you have to open your eyes and check if the money is still there. there. You never know, maybe some mice be <laughs> <laughs> you never know. So no, I mean I was I was very, very happy. So I started training with uh Aruras. Okay. Yeah, I did so well. That time uh coach uh Samamate Fio was our coach. Oh okay. Yeah, and I mean may he so recipes, but I mean he did everything possible that I would, uh, we should we should we should join them myself and Sibu Moni. There is a guy called Sibu Moni oh, okay. that we should join the uh, the first team, and then uh, with hard work and the love of the game, I did I did and I joined the the the, the, the senior team. So playing for Accra, so for my first game I played against uh, Eleven Wise. Okay. So when we were going uh, to the pitch, you know that those days the the dressing room is where the the uh, the, the VIP is. And they have they have the space there. So walking, you can see the pitch. And we are playing against Eleven Wise. This is my first game. And you have players like Ebu Smith and the rest. Yeah. So going to the going to the pitch, I was I was very very nervous. No nervous. I was scared of the game because when we were walking, I saw the pitch and I, my heart started beating. I was like, E. Today I'm. I'm what has brought me here? Yeah. <laughs> Today I'm part of this team and I have to I have to show myself. So um, Ebu Smith uh, realized that I, I was very very tense. I was I was scared of the game. So he tapped me from 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 behind and he said, Stephen, you know what? When you get the ball, you just dribble. When you lose the ball, we will we'll take it and we'll give it to you. Just dribble them. So I think that that thing that he told me gave me some confidence. Because, I mean, he has been in the game, he has played for the national team, and he has played uh, outside. So, I mean, he knows, he yeah. knows. And then uh, it happens. I mean, I enjoyed myself. I played very, very well. When we finished the game, the fans, they were throwing money. You found out that I money. Of course. Of course. Level, level, level change now. Yeah, so, level change. Yeah. So, were you able to go and get your G's? 
Oh yeah, that time <laughs> I, wa I wasn't getting it myself. So you know, you play games on Sundays. Yeah. Monday deliberately, you have to go to UTC. You have to walk from UTC to Watu. Huh? So walking, they ask fans. They will be giving you things. I mean, fan, oh, iron, okay. money. So anytime I played a game on Sunday. You are guaranteed. I mean, 12 o'clock in the afternoon, you will see <laughs> Stephen Apia coming from me. <laughs> Was it deliberate? Of course. <laughs> <laughs> of course. Of course, man has to make some money, man. I mean. But your career as Hard of Hope was very brief, but people still remember those days at Hard of Hope. Oh, yeah. Um, um, I, played, I played very, very well. And I mean, those days, 11 o'clock stadium is full. Yeah. It's full, and I was very, very young, being playing with all these top, 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 top players. experienced players, and the, 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 uh, my performance was 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 unbelievable. So people were even calling me; they call me computer. Oh, really? Yeah, computer, because they said that everywhere I stand. I can gauge and then give a pass. That, that, that gauging, how did you do it? I'll, 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 I think I'll get there. Because <laughs> so I do recall, we had a small TV like this when we were in the village, hey, yeah. sometimes in uh, life. It was black and white television. Yeah. I think Ghana was playing a friend of mine, was it against Japan or so? I recall, you gave a long pass. Uh. Hey. That, 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 we, call, we call it Taylor measured pass. Yeah, Taylor measured, yeah. They hit the ball yeah. and like to, to trap the ball like yeah. that. How are we so, doing it? Yeah, so they call me they call me computer and then they changed my name to Baby Jesus. Huh? Yeah, Baby Jesus because I quite remember when you know those days all the top goalkeepers in the league, I scored all of all of them. From 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 Salifu Ansan, Ose Kwajo, uh Ansan, all the top top. And I was young and I mean getting those those football sense and the posi posi positioning myself and the where, where the places that I would place the ball it was it was beyond imagination but I think that it's something that I was born with yeah. because when I was even playing coats uh, it was it, it was there and um, at times you have to go to the beach to to practice on 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 on, on certain things yeah. in terms of accuracy so uh, I, will, I will stand somewhere like 50 meters and i will tell a friend to stand uh, a certain position and i will i will be hitting the ball there and then i mean it will be going <laughs> it will be going <laughs> like that so yeah I mean, they said uh, i mean computer practice, baby practice jesus makes perfect. what Computer, baby Jesus. Yeah, computer, baby Jesus. Yeah. Wow. And then when I was playing co coach, they called me Gadiola. Gadiola. Yeah, ga no, no, not Guardiola. Eh. Gadiola. 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 So you know those days, before we saw Ronaldo. Yeah. I mean Brazilian. Yeah, Ronaldo, Ronaldo Lima. Uh, yes, and other players doing. You know that. Yeah, yeah, yeah that uh -huh. skill. We saw a both Smith and the and the rest doing that. So when we were playing course, I used to do that, that thing. Even, even, so, even the blast Ascalas, you did it yeah. many times. So when I do this, my fans, no, yeah. the, uh, the Choco people, they would say, Gajo. <laughs> so they, oh, okay. <laughs> they gave the, that uh, uh, trick, no, yeah. Gajo. So when I do, so when I was, I was playing, Charlie, Bale Gajo, Bale Gajo, do I'm, do I'm, do I'm yeah. Gajo. Then I would do my things and everybody, he, so. <laughs> Is it that you've been receiving fans from so, childhood? Oh, yes, 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 yes. Uh, Mufti, I was, I was, I was good. I was good. Let's forget about the blasters and but when when we were playing Munchedi and there, I was good. I was good. From House of Oak, then you went to the under 17, yeah. subsequently to Europe. Tell me about that call up. How did you get the first call up to the U17? U17. So playing at House of Oak, uh, 95, I was, I was, I was doing so well. I've won uh, 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 certain awards. Uh, and uh, Honorable Yiti Minsa gave me a letter oh, okay. to yeah to join the the under 17. That time, Coach Ade, they have been in camp for I think two years. Is this Samade? So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, may, may so rest, rest in, in peace. peace. The multi system. Yeah, man. yeah, multi multi, multi system. system man. Yeah, yeah, multi system. So he had his team already, and I have to join the team, and it wasn't it wasn't easy. It wasn't easy. I went to camp to meet players like Christian Saba, um, I 
Atada, who at Accra, Amene, and Pong, Emmanuel Bentil, and the rest. So when I got there, uh, you know, when you are training, but it looks as if your, your, your energy is not right there because they have been together for yeah, so many years. Yeah. So they, they, they know themselves. Being a new player, I was the youngest player in, in, in the, team the team that time. Being there late and then the players, they will be looking at you in a certain way that we have been here for two years. You, you have come and you think that uh, they will take you to the World Cup. And yeah, I was training with them. I used to wash their clothes. So when we finished training, at times I at 17. Of course, I'm not 17. I used to wash their clothes. I used to wash like Emmanuel Bentel and Atakra Meniampo and there. And then, <laughs> okay, Atakra Meniampo and the rest. So at times we will finish training, they will, they will put their uh, jerseys and their pants and I have to, I have to wash, wash it for them. I wasn't, I wasn't feeling bad because it, it was normal. Today, I mean, our players know, I thought so I'm on uh, a and can say he join me. But those days you have to wash. But when I was washing, I wasn't feeling anything because I'm seeing them as senior players. Yes. And then when we started to read the Bible, or when we started to understand life, life will tell you that before you you will be great, you have to serve. So some of us we serve. We serve by washing and going to the dining room to. To to uh, to to take their, their food. food yeah to their rooms and all that, but today I'm here. <laughs> um, yeah, you so, in this served? Yeah, so under 17 I joined the team. We travel to we travel to um, that was Equator 95. Yeah, Equator 95. Yeah. So we did our 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 uh, pre camp in Manchester. Oh, okay. That's why I became Manchester United fan. Oh, I see. Yes. <laughs> So we went to we went to we went to Bobby Charlton College. Oh, okay. That's where we camped. And my first stadium that I saw with my eyes was Old Trafford. Oh, okay. I've never seen. We thought that Accra Stadium was Accra Sports Stadium was heaven. But when I saw Old Trafford, I was like, Hey, where am I in paradise? <laughs> Football <laughs> paradise. Yeah, am I in paradise? That's where I fell in love with. Man with, United. Yeah, Man United. And we yeah, we trained there. We traveled to Ecuador. Uh, I had the chance to play uh, one game. I'm not going to say only because I have to be true to myself that the players who were there were, 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 were better. Were better. Yeah, were better. They had the experience. Players like Joe and Sam, Baba Sule, David Amwaku, um, David Amwaku, Abu Idrisu, Emmanuel Bentel, Aoudou Isaka, and the rest. I mean, they were, they were, they were, they were ahead, ahead of me. So uh, when we play our first, second game, we won the two games. So the third game, we have qualified already. So, uh, you so, were given opportunity. Yeah. And you know that Coach Adi, let me say this. Coach Adi, ha, he, he, has a, he has a way of doing his selection. So it's not like the coaches will come, OK, uh, Michael Ellison, you will play eight. Uh, uh, Adokwe Papo, you will play three. John Pence, you will play no. Coach Adi will be like, Abu Idrisu, hey, sorry. Mohamed Abu, no, Michael Abu, sorry. Yeah. Yeah. Michael Abu, if you get the ball, you give it to uh, uh, Patrick Aluti. Patrick, when you get the ball, you just play a long ball to Kwekutre. Uh, 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 he was the number two. So Atakra, you come and then receive the ball. And then Saba, that's how. When he oh. got, yes, when he got to my tent, because Yiti Mesa gave me letter to join the team. Hmm. Today, GFE number eight. <laughs> <laughs> Steven Apia. <laughs> Steven Apia. And I was like, e. I mean, I, I was the youngest player. I mean, give me some confidence to go and play that game. GFA number but, eight. Yeah, GFA number eight. But you see, if if at that age, playing for a car as a folk, with that pressure, with all the fans, there is no state. That I think that's why in my career I have never played under under pressure. Never. I think I got that thing from a class of folk. Because 15 years, 16 years, and you play like 11 o'clock when you come, place is, the stadium is full. And we will play without fear. So when he said GFA no my head, everybody started to laugh and then. And I knew it was you. Yeah, 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 of course. He didn't mention my name. It was me. <laughs> it was me. I mean, he's it, it, such a great man. He's such a great man. 
So we went to the game. I played so well. I played so well. Chasaluti scored the goal. We beat them 1 0. We won the trophy. We came back. And when we came back, we, we, we took the, the, the trophy. On the tour. Yeah, on the tour. So when we got to the stadium, a lot of fans were, 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 yeah, yeah. were at the stadium. So when he was giving his speech, he said that um, he was talking the fans, the players, and everybody. He said, but one thing, there is, there is a young player in our team who didn't get the chance to, to play, but one day he will be one of the best in this country.